Hello, my name is Susan Nomberg McCullough, and I am an abstract, expressionistic artist and sculptor. I represent the USA, and I'm from Gulf Shores, Alabama. Gulf Shores is a destination resort area with white sandy beaches that run along the Gulf of Mexico. My gallery and studio are located in the grounds of a championship golf course. I paint mostly in oil, but I paint in acrylic, uh, pastel, watercolor, pen and ink, charcoal, and I sculpt. I usually paint mostly on very large canvases. I seem to just enjoy being with large canvases instead of the smaller ones, but I, I paint on both. Someone asked me, why do I paint? And the answer was, for the love of it. For the excitement of a blank canvas, and most of my ideas will stem from being in front of a blank canvas or as I'm falling asleep. I sometimes dream about paintings, but I mostly, as I'm falling asleep, I will do three or four paintings. And then the next morning, I'll go in and I'll paint some of those. I'm always working on about three or four canvases in my studio at a time. And I'm never at a loss as what to paint. For me, there are not enough hours in a day. You ask me why, um, or some of the challenges. You've asked me about the challenges that I've had during, during this uh, time. And I don't know that there are really challenges in the early stages of my life, but it has been a life's journey. I went to college, I painted. I married, I painted. I worked as an interior designer, and during that time I painted. I had children, I painted. I traveled, I painted, and I always came back to painting. I started at a very young age of about six years old, and I started with crayons and coloring books. When I would get home from school, the first thing I would do is get my crayons and color book and, and color through the night. but. Then, as my teenage years came along, I um, noticed that they had pictures in the back of magazines, and they were competitions, and it says, draw me. So I would draw the faces of women and children and men, and then I would go to the encyclopedia, and I would draw things from the encyclopedia. I guess I was inspired by my mother's love of art, even though at a young age, I really didn't realize how much she did love art. Um, I would see books on Da Vinci and Michelangelo around the house. And I guess her favorite artist must have been Toulouse Lautrec because we had a poster in our breakfast area in the bright uh, reds and yellows and black colors that I paint with today. Then I went off to college and there I took an art course. I never left the art department. And I ended up graduating with a degree in theater and in art from the University of Alabama. Now the gallery came about, uh, interestingly enough, there was an artist, Peter Max, who was exhibiting in New Orleans. So I asked my husband, would he take me to New Orleans to see Peter Max's work? And it was a wonderful evening in the gallery. His work was magnificent, and he was such a beautiful gentleman as well. And on the way home Sunday afternoon, my husband said, Susan, what are you going to do with all of your paintings that you have in storage? And right now, in your studio at the house, you can't even walk in the room. There's so many canvases. And I thought about it for a minute, and then I thought, well, I guess I'll just keep painting. And he said, why don't you take all of your artwork and hang them in an area at the McCullough Institute, that's where he does his surgery, and uh, just hang your paintings there. Well, I guess that began today's challenges because um, if, if there ever was a challenge, I guess it's, it's now. Um, since the Florence Spinale, where I exhibited and was fortunate enough to exhibit, the floodgates opened up. And um, as we say, the doors opened up for me, and I decided to walk through those doors. 
it was a life-changing experience for me. I met artists from all around the world and we became steadfast friends. And uh, I guess that was bound by a passion and a love for art. And today I visit with them and speak with them. We Skype, we email, and it's wonderful to change and interchange our thoughts and visions of our art. And now the challenge in the gallery and the studio is to balance all of the opportunities that have come my way to exhibit and the daily responsibilities of operating a business and finding the time to paint. Uh, fortunate for me, I have my father, Max Nomberg, who is 99 years old, but still opens up my gallery and is the gallery director. And I also have a multi-talented gallery assistant, Michelle Jordan, and a very loving husband who supports my art and has for many years. I'm inspired by the world around me, by the people that I encounter, by the architecture, by everything that I see. I see things that are real, but in my mind's eye, I express them through abstract and through the abstract. Uh, for example, if I'm looking out of a window of an airplane and I look down and I see all the different squares and of the landscape and the water, all of a sudden, it's almost like there's a blur or a fog that comes over me and it becomes an abstract painting. I will look at a map and I see the highways and I see the roads, but I also see many other shapes and forms and they become an abstract painting as well. I can walk into a room I see everything in the room, the lamps, the couches, or sofas, and it becomes a separation and it formulates into a complete abstract painting for me. I do that with photography. It can be monochromatic, it can be in color, but I see the shapes and I see different things. But the most exciting thing that inspires me every day or whenever I start a new painting, is standing in front of a blank canvas. That's exciting. Well, I'm proud to be uh, published in upcoming Art Tour International, Top 60 Masters of Contemporary Art. That's, I feel very fortunate to be a part of that. You can contact me at susannmcculloughart.com. I'm on LinkedIn. Facebook and Google Plus at Susan N. McCullough Art. And I thank you for your time and I've really enjoyed this interview.